So, hello guys, how are you doing? I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, God, a life of a Spurs fan, eh? If you didn't watch a Carabao Cup final yesterday, it ended Tottenham Hotspur nil, Manchester City 1 at Wembley. Man City lift their fourth consecutive Carabao Cup final. So nice and dominant from City. Um, and let's be honest, there was no arguments at all with the result yesterday. Manchester City were absolutely brilliant. Um, they've just got strength and depth all over the pitch. They flew out of the traps. They suffocated Spurs from the very first kick to the last kick of the game. Uh, I think that Spurs had two shots in comparison to over 15 for Manchester City. Pep got it absolutely bang on. A lot of people were going to say, you know, maybe Spurs have a chance because City are focused on their Champions League semi-final against PSG this week. None of that. Um, he went full strength pretty much. Kevin De Bruyne was back in the side, which was really good news for Spurs. Um, and yeah, they were just brilliant. Mares was great. They didn't play with a number nine, but they interchanged with Sterling. Like I say, Mares, um, they're just so good. They control games. They suffocate you. They press high up the pitch. Uh, yeah, there was no complaints from Spurs. I think. Uh, moving on to a bit of analysis from Tottenham's side. Ryan Mason got the team selection a little bit off, I think. Obviously, he's a 29-year-old manager in his second senior game as a coach. But there's a few bits which I weren't too sure about. I'll put the team selection up now so you can see it. Loris in goal. Uh, Ori, uh, sorry, Aurier and Reguillon left-back and right-back. No complaints there. Toby and Dyer as centre-halves, which I think is Mason's preferred centre-back partnership now. Um, really interesting in midfield. He went for Lacelso, Winks and um, Hoiberg. Um, obviously, Hoiberg and Winks were deeper lying. Lacelso played the more attacking role in behind the striker. No Tongi and Dombele. Didn't even come on off the bench. You, you know, that was a really, really weird one because the way Manchester City pressed at, um, you know, every opponent... They press high, they press quick, and Dombele has that skill, that close control to break a press and get out of their, you know, their pressing lines, as it were. Um, the fact he didn't even get on, I'm not sure what's going on there, whether there's a different story, but yeah, he chose Moses Sissoko over him to come on, which I thought was a really strange one. Um, Lucas Mora and Sonny, um, either side of Harry Kane up front, who passed his fitness test, but... To be honest, he didn't look anywhere near fit, Harry Kane. I was very, very, you know, not disappointed with his performance, but he just looked very subdued, very quiet. Um, thought Son was very, very poor. Um, should have come off for Bale. Uh, I thought Bale was hard done by not to start the game, given how good he was on Wednesday against Southampton. But, um, yeah, it, it was just Spurs didn't really ever look like, you know, the, I, I think that Mason went for... Sonny and Mora either side of Kane to try and hit City on the counter, but it didn't work at all. Uh, we never really got going, didn't really get in our stride. Too many misplaced passes. I thought Son was really, really disappointing. We need our big game players to step up in finals and stuff like that. And none of them ever do. You know, I think I read the other day, what is it? Two Carabao Cup finals, one Champions League final and two uh, FA Cup semi-finals we've now lost in the last 10 years. There's there's something very, very wrong with the mentality in and around the club. It's not just the manager. It's obviously the players and the atmosphere that's been inherited has been passed down through the senior pros in towards the lads that are broken through because we're not even scoring goals in finals, let alone trying to win cup finals. Um, obviously, with Ryan Mason can't put too much blame on him, to be honest. You know, he's just there as an interim. He did look out of his depth yesterday. Didn't know how to change it around. And, um, you know, those of you who want Mason to get it on a full-time basis if he gets us into the top four, I just don't think it's going to happen. He's a he's quite a long way off of being a top-level manager at a club like Tottenham Hotspur yet. Yeah, and that's why I think Daniel Levy will try and go big for one of the big guns that has been linked with a job in the summer. So... Yeah, like I say, no complaints really. Obviously, most realistic Spurs fans knew what the crack was going to be yesterday. You know, City, they could, they are on for a treble, to be honest. You know, they've won the League Cup now. They've got a great chance in the Champions League. You know, they're probably the strongest team left in the Champions League now, although you can't write Real Madrid and PSG off. And Chelsea, I mean, they're all strong. But I think City and Pep really have got a point to prove in that competition. And obviously, they're going to win the Premier League as well. So... Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Um, obviously, we did well to keep it at 1-0 because there were so many chances. Loris played really well. Let me know your thoughts. Really disappointing again, but we stick with it. Five games to the end of the season, five points off the top four. If we can get there, it'll be an absolute miracle to round off a really crap season for Spurs and Spurs fans. But 
yeah, until next time, um, keep the faith. <laughs> we'll try and live something one day, I hope. And uh, I'll speak to you next time. Plenty of videos coming. Um, so, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Interact with me. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, have a good week. <sighs> There's always next year. See you later. Cheers. Bye.